Hi, this is Larry Jordan, and this is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the new features in Final Cut Pro 10.2. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to create effects presets. All right, so first, oh, this is so cool. Watch this. I'm going to select this clip, and we're going to apply two amazing effects, effects that you have never seen before, effects that are so incredible, your jaw will be on the floor. Look at that. We've applied a blur, <sighs> and look at this. We're going to go down to distortion, and we're going to apply background squares. Doesn't that leave you just breathless? Look at that. That is incredible. I am so in love with that effect that I want to build a preset. I want to use it over and over and over again because, I mean, this is art. <laughs> Select the clip, open up the inspector. See this line down here? Say, save effects preset, click it, and it opens up a brand new dialog. What's really nice about this is that we can give this a name, my first preset, and we can say, I want it to only have the Gaussian blur, I want to have background squares, but no Gaussian blur. I want to include transform or crop, distort, spatial conform, or compositing. I can define exactly what I want to use, and it'll also indicate if there's keyframes available. By the way, thinking of keyframes, see these two choices down here, maintain and stretch to fit. Stretch to fit is the default. Maintain, let's explain that one first. Imagine I've got a 10-second clip. I've got keyframes for the first two seconds, and I've got keyframes for the last two seconds. So I've got a 10-second clip, two seconds of keyframes front, two seconds of keyframes at the back. If I then apply that effect to a five-second clip, when maintain is checked, then my keyframes still take two seconds at the front and two seconds at the back, and I've only got one second difference between the start and end keyframes. If stretch to fit is checked, when I apply the keyframes from a 10-second clip to a 5-second clip, the 2-second keyframes at the top get shortened to 1 second, and the 2-second keyframes at the back get shortened to 1 second as well. In other words, the keyframe position is adjusted proportionate to the difference in duration between the two clips. If the two clips are exactly the same size, keyframes aren't shifted. If maintain is checked, keyframes aren't shifted. If the clips are different durations, the keyframe's position shifts based upon the difference in duration between the old clip, say 10 seconds, and the new clip, say 5 seconds. Stretch to fit is the default, and I recommend you use that. On, and you don't really care at all about these two unless you have keyframes applied to a clip. Once that's done, oh, we can do one other thing. See where it says category? These categories correspond to the categories here in effects. I'm going to create a new category called Larry, you, uh, you don't have to call your category Larry. You could call it blur effects or color effects or motion effects. You can call it whatever you want. In fact, there's no limit to the number of categories that you create. And we'll create, and now we're going to save this. And notice down here, there's the Larry category I just created, and there's my first preset. Select the clip get rid of Gaussian, get rid of background squares, drag it on, and poof! There's Gaussian, there's background squares with the exact same settings, with the exact same stacking order. Really, really cool. This is a big time saver because effects presets can be shared across multiple projects, multiple libraries. They're remembered when you quit Final Cut. You can still copy and paste effects between clips, but now now you have the ability to save effect settings that you want and reuse them over and over. Uh, here's another good one. Watch. Oh, by the way, let's say that you have uh, one preset and you apply a second preset to it. Presets are additive. If you add it again, you add more Gaussian blurs and more background squares. See how I just keep adding? So you have one preset, which is, say, a blur preset another one which is like an animation preset, another one which is, say, a color preset. Just keep dumping presets on. It keeps adding more and more effects. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at the new features inside Final Cut Pro 10.2. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com store and look for Webinar 155.
By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. A membership to our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,200 movies, hundreds of hours, all in depth and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.